Hi everybody, this is the Math 10C Polynomials Review. This is Written Response 3B. We have to factor this, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take that first term and multiply it by the last term. So we're going to be looking for two numbers whose product is 10x squared and whose sum is negative 7x. Okay? Now, it shouldn't take you too much time to figure this out, but this is the hard part of this process, is figuring out what these two values are. Okay? Um, and as I've said before here, you might be using a different method of factoring, but at some point in time, you're going to bump into this this question here, answering it, uh, answering this question about what two pro uh, numbers multiply to get 10x squared and add to get negative 7x. And in this case, I hope it's pretty clear that it's got to be negative 5x and negative 2x. Now, what we have found here are the outer and the inner products when you multiply these out. Okay, so that product right there, this product right here, so this is going to be negative 5x. This in here will be negative 2x. Now, they don't have to be in that order. You could switch that. All it's going to do is switch the two factors here. It doesn't matter. But now I ask myself this. The first two terms here, when I multiply these two together, I have to get 5x squared. Okay? And based on the work that I've just done, when I multiply this value by this value right here, I have to get negative 5x. So this term right here up front is a factor of both that and that. So what's it going to be? Well, the best number we can plug in there is 5x. And if that's true, if this is 5x, that makes this x. If this is 5x, that makes this back here negative 1. And there we go. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 1 is negative 5x. Okay, everything's consistent thus far. If this is x and the product of these two has to be negative 2x, that makes this in here negative 2. And there we go. There's that uh, expression in factored form.